Anxiety is one of those emotions that's just all consuming. And it seems like in me, when it gets triggered, it hangs around for a while. And the more I look at it, the more I entertain it, the bigger it gets to the point where it just becomes all consuming. And I'm constantly just focusing on my thoughts. In this video, I'm going to describe what anxiety truly is, how it manifests, why it manifests, and how you can actually release its grip and get back into a state of flow, get back into a state of peace, and back into a state of grace. Anxiety will no longer control you. So we've had experiences in our lives, things have happened, that have created an energetic state known as anxiety. And if you've experienced anxiety like I have, it can be very paralyzing. Now, your body remembers what that feels like. When we've experienced it in our past, we've experienced a trauma, and we created anxiety from that, this really dense energy, it got stored or tucked away in the body. And as you've gone through life, experiences that you've that have happened in your reality has triggered that anxiety, and that anxiety has just come up in full force. This is your body remembering what it is to feel anxious. It's a conditioned response. Now, it can seem to come out of nowhere, right? It can seem to just manifest without anything happening externally. And that's a function of your ascension process, your spiritual growth, and it's really a powerful ascension symptom. What's happening is your body that's held on to this dense energy energy, this anxiety for so, so long is like, oh, what about this? We have to get rid of this. And it keeps coming up. It may come out of nowhere. Now, when it happens, your mind or your ego is going to say, oh, that's anxiety. That feels like something bad's going to happen. I'm anticipating something in the future that is not going to go my way. So therefore, we need to solve this problem. And you get into your mental field and you get into overthinking and it's something that's created, it builds in your mind, the story builds, 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 and builds based on things that have happened in your past, and we lose control, right? It becomes very paralyzing. Have you experienced that? If you've ever experienced that, drop a comment. I'd love to hear about it. I've gone through that. But when you're clearing, when you're healing, your body is going to just remind you that you have this dense, unprocessed energy in there. How does it get your attention? Well, it brings it up, it activates it so that you can actually feel it. We label it as anxiety, right? This is just your nervous system saying, hey, I've got this preconditioned program here because of what's happened in the past, and now it's time to start to release this stuff. So when the anxiety starts to come up, when your body starts to react, and it could be triggered by a thought, an external thing, something may happen. Your body is like, oh yeah, I know what that is. Let's become anxious because that's what we've done in the past. Or it could just be a release of your nervous system wanting to bring to your attention some energy that no longer serves you. Okay, it just comes up out of nowhere. There doesn't have to be an event. There doesn't have to be a thought. But think of it this way. It's like a wound up spring. It's been in there for so long. And because you've been doing your healing work, you've been doing the breath work, you've been grounding, you've been meditating, you've created space within your body, that spring now can relax. It wants to go like this. So all of that tension, all of that stuck energy gets released, right? And if you're not able to hold space for that and sit and feel that and actually process it, your mind is going to convince you that you got to coil that spring down. Let's put energy into this anxiety and let's coil it back down. We'll deal with it later. But we want to do exactly the opposite. What you want to do is you want to be able to sit back, connect with your body, and allow yourself to process this dense energy as it rises up. It's going to rise up into your field. Your mind's going to want to create stories about it. You want to create space, observe the mind, bring your attention back to the body, and breathe through the anxiety. This is all just energy. It's programming. Your nervous system has been programmed to be in this tense, anxious 
state. You may not feel it all the time, but as you do this work on your journey, you're creating the space, sure enough, it is going to rise up to be experienced. Your higher self is guiding you through this process. Your higher self wants you to relax into it, to sit with this energy. It's that spring uncoiling. We want to allow it to uncoil. As you do that, and you continue to bring it back to the heart, you continue to find peace, you find love for these aspects of you that were traumatized. It's the source of the anxiety, right? Your nervous system remembers, your body remembers. You want to love these aspects as that spring is uncoiling and releasing this dense energy. This energy that was tucked away or out of view or out of use by you. The stuff that's been making you tired and fatigued, right? All this stuck energy, it's energy that wasn't available, is now becoming available for you. It is returning to the whole. We want to allow that process to unfold. It means we have to feel it. We don't try to coil the spring back down. We create more space so that that spring can expand. That spring expands, releases all of that energy that was locked up or frozen in there and it becomes available to you. Your nervous system calms as it becomes exposed to all that energy as it returns. It's no longer locked away. It's no longer hidden. It is now available for you. So you start to feel a little more energized. You start to feel a little less anxious. Sure, your mind may still be doing its thing, the mind chatter, the overthinking, but you feel more calm because you've led yourself inward, your consciousness inward. You've connected with calm. You've connected with stillness. That energy has been alchemized, the density, and your body now remembers what it feels like to be calm. You have led it to a calm state. It no longer needs to be holding this density known as anxiety and releasing it on a whim out of nowhere, right? I've had that happen. Boy, that's not fun, right? But when you have the awareness to be able to bring it back in and restore a state of calm, you get to take all of that energy that was locked away in that anxiety in the nervous system. The nervous system has been holding it for years and years and years, keeping it tight, keeping you small, keeping you feeling anxious, right? Now it's up. Now it's seen. Now it's relaxed. And all of that stuck energy is now yours. It's available to you to create, to become empowered, to take control over your life, to start that business, to go find that relationship. Whatever it is for you, you're no longer trying to keep this at bay by trying to mentally find your way out of a problem that your mind perceives, right? That's anxiety, right? There's a problem. I got to find a solution. I can't. I'm anxious. You're no longer in the mental field anymore. You're back in the body. Your energy is flowing. Your nervous system is relaxed. Your mental body will start to quiet. It will start to fade into the background. So how do we deal with this like when it happens, right? When we start to get anxious, well, it is so powerful to become aware of what your body's doing when you're anxious or when you're overthinking, right? When this energy gets released, your body is going to show you or remind you of what that feels like, what it looks like in the body. So you're going to be breathing shallow. You're not going to be breathing deep. You're going to be in a fight or flight mode. Your body instantly manifests into a fight or flight vessel live in the moment. You feel tense. You feel tight. You're thinking about your thoughts. You're out here. You're not in here. Bring it back to the body. Place your hand on your heart. Start to breathe and calm yourself down. Envision a ball of light coming into your body and into your heart space and fill your heart and breathe into the lower lobes of your lungs. Let's show our body what it feels like to breathe deep, to ground into the body, not to stay up in the upper part where it's all tense. 
when you can learn to do that and practice that throughout your day so that your body knows how to get back into a calm state, right? Not a tense fight or flight state, not a shallow breathing state, not an anxious state, but a deep breathing, regulated, calm state. The rest of your, your bodily functions will match that energy that you have led to it. Okay, you've, you've led other processes to this state of calmness, your immune system, your nervous system, right? Your hormones, everything. It just starts to match a calm state of being. The stress hormones, the cortisol, all that stuff, the adrenaline starts to fade away, right? And you're left with a calm state of being. Again, all the energy that was this unprocessed density, this anxiety that's been in your body, keeping you tense, keeping you tight, keeping you small, you didn't even know about it, has come up. You've gotten anxious. Your body became that. Now you're aware of it. In that moment, show your body what calm feels like. Bring your attention inward. Slow down your breath. Breathe more deeply. Self-regulate. self care. Your body will follow. The anxiety will melt away. And you'll realize there really wasn't a problem. It was just a manifestation of energy that's been there the whole time. You created an opportunity for this dense energy known as anxiety in this video, in this situation, to rise up to finally be processed, right? We don't become anxious in that moment, we become calm in the face of the anxiety. Body says we're anxious, remember this, and we say, look at this, we're calm, right? And your body will follow your lead. You are creating your reality, not the other way around, right? We want to be conscious creators, not unconscious creators. You've been an unconscious creator for a long, long time. That's why this energy has been stuck. It's been creating your reality, it's been unconscious or subconscious, and it's been outside of your control. Now that you're aware of it, now that you're feeling this anxiety it's out of nowhere for no real reason, it's your body's way of saying, yes, I need help. Let's deal with this now. Let's alchemize this energy. Lead the way and your body will follow. When your body follows, your reality will change. And you'll start to see higher frequency versions of that reality start to manifest right before your eyes. If this video brought value to you, please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And if this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you so much.